Hi guys, it's uh, EVP Man with TabletsForMe.com and it's time for a rematch. Today we have the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4, and the Galaxy S2 4G Touch from Sprint. Let's see how these phones uh, perform in the next test. So let's look at how long these three phones will take to start up from a complete, complete shutdown. Now realize that not everyone does a complete shutdown of their phone, but we're gonna see how quickly these phones do boot up. It becomes important when you restart your phone and all phones, regardless of the maker, regardless of the operating system, have to be restarted at some point. So let's do a comparison. Let's see if I can get them all to start up all at the same time. So I'm gonna push the buttons and get all these phones going. And let's see how they do. Well, Samsung Galaxy S2 is on, preparing its SD card, um, and if I wanted to access it, it's ready to access. iPhone 4S is on, which is an improvement, and then the iPhone 4 um, just caught up. So this is the iPhone 4S, this is the iPhone 4, and as you can see, uh, the Galaxy S2 was ready to go. So while there was an improvement, still not as fast on startup as the Galaxy S2. The next test I'm going to conduct is a browser speed test. All of these phones are connected to my Wi-Fi network. That way uh, there can't be any um, comparison when it comes to uh, the actual carrier. So they're all connected. We're all going to go to CNN and see which one loads the, fa the page the fastest. None of these phones have actually made it to the page, so it's not preloaded or pre-cached. So let's go ahead and I'm going to see if I can get them all to go at the same time. Wow, pretty good. So it looks like the iPhone 4S, which was this phone right here, beat the Samsung Galaxy S2. The iPhone 4 was not that far behind, but definitely improvement on how quickly that browser page came up. Let's go ahead and look at another browser page and see how it does. So here goes the next browser test. We're going to go to tabletsforme.com and see how well these phones perform. That was pretty good. The iPhone 4S was a bit faster uh, than the Samsung Galaxy Tab as well as the uh, iPhone 4. Let's go ahead and try one more site. Alright, so here's another website we'll try. We'll try dealnews.com and we'll see how well they do. Ah, oh, that was fast. That was pretty close on all of them. This was the mobile site though for Deal News, but that still was pretty impressive with all the phones. So you can clearly see uh, that Apple has done a phenomenal job of improving the iPhone. Uh, 4S when it comes to processing. Uh, one of the things that I failed to mention is that both iPhones 4 and 4S are running the latest iOS, iOS 5 um, operating system, but um, nicely done by Apple when it comes to speed and performance on the actual iPhone 4S. Here's another uh, browser speed test. We'll go ahead to CNET.com and we'll see how this works. They're all going to the mobile version. Samsung Galaxy Tab is finished. Four S is still going. and the iPhone 4 is still going. You can see that by these little circular things that are updating. So the 4S is done, uh, the 4 is still going, as you can see, based on the little icon indicating that it's still swirling away, and it's still loading the CNET website. Once again, this is the mobile website. As this page loads, really, as you compare the three phones, if you really think about it, the iPhone 4S is doing phenomenally well. There are pages that are more optimized for the iPhone 4, 
uh, or maybe have less graphics. Uh, definitely uh, flash is, is a big factor. Uh, the Galaxy S is loading flash and I don't know if this page per se has flash on it because it is the mobile page but one of the things you can definitely tell the iPhone 4 is still loading uh, CNET.com the mobile app and it just finished that is surprisingly slow so um, I, I would say really uh, you can't go wrong with the iPhone 4s it's, uh, it, it's significantly faster than the, than the 4 and you can see right then and there just uh, with this page alone how long it took for the 4 to catch up to the 4s again keep in mind we've seen pages where the 4s was faster than these two other phones and we saw pages where the Samsung Galaxy ta the Galaxy S2 was faster so once again I think it's it's uh, Apple is definitely has to get props for doing a phenomenal job with the new processor uh, and uh, and the phone itself. It, the iPhone 4s is performing um, very very well in comparison to the uh, 4. Let's look at some other tests. The next test is how quickly Gun Bros will start up in both of these phones. Well, as you can see, uh, the actual, and then let's go ahead and stop it, uh, they're a little too loud. On both of these phones, you saw clearly that the Samsung Galaxy S 4G Touch was faster loading Gun Bros, at least the startup of the program. So uh, the gameplay, um, you can try for yourself, but at least startup was a lot faster.